Hey, it's Will Taylor. Welcome to Coffee with Will on Saturday, October 13th in Austin, Texas. My topic today is that we all should just be selfish and do it anyway. I want to give an example. Before I talk about it, make sure you subscribe by clicking notify me when I go live. I do these every day and I try to bring things that I'm going through that we all can share and grow together and share our own personal growth. You know the saying, the Buddhist or the the, the, the master said about life is meaningless, but we should just do it anyway. Well, yesterday I had a, a recording session scheduled with my favorite tabla player, percussionist here in town. He canceled. I really wanted to record this original piece of music that it was written almost six months six months ago, and he canceled. And I thought, you know what? I'll just go ahead and cancel too. We'll do it another time. And the little voices were going off in my head saying, you know, you shouldn't, let's just do it another time. But another voice said, no, you should make this work. You need to get this happening. You need to record this piece of music. All the other voices are going off saying, why? Why are you important? What's so important about your music? Why should you? You know what? I did it. I hired another percussionist. We went in the studio and I'm ever grateful that I pushed through the voices that said not to do it. And I had this beautiful, to me, what I think is a beautiful piece of music that I've written that it's very pleasing to the ear to put out to the universe. You know, I think creating any art is, is, is in essence an ultimate selfish act. You know, all these voices that go off, you know, why does the world need more music? You know, what's so, what's so great about my music? There's so many other people that are better than I am. There, why should I contribute to this massive noise? Why should I be spending time writing music by myself when I could be out helping people in the world, when, especially in this, the climate that we live right now, don't I need to be working toward, you know, uh, the, the environment and climate change and, and helping people get elected that I think are important, that are going to help save the planet? Isn't that the most important cause right now? Shouldn't I just put aside all my music and dedicate myself to this, to save the human race? Why should I create any music? I'd be curious what you guys think. Why should I create any music? And if you want to hear this piece of music that I put together with an amazing uh, percussionist, Lauren Cecchio, uh did a great job, some guitar, beautiful. It kind of sounds like something from Game of Thrones. If you're interested in hearing that piece, private message me your email address and I'll share that with you. I'm off to do weddings today. There's always a reason. Jason McKenzie was talking about how he's shifting his life and the universe is throwing all this resistance to him saying, don't do that, don't do that. You know, time is gonna pass anyway. And you could say, what if Beethoven, what if Mozart in their early years, if they had said, you know what, I'm not good enough, what's the point? There are other, we wouldn't have those beautiful pieces of music that inspire us to go out and do the important things. So yes, music is important, but what is it that for you, if you're an artist or if you are a lover of music, why should I, if you like my music, write original music, spend time, which I think might be frivolous, I'd be curious why you think I should spend time. And I produce this piece of music, it's very pleasing to me, and I'm happy to put it out to the universe, I'm happy to put it out to my fans for enjoyment forever, for even until after I die, they could be enjoying this piece of music. But, you know, not being necessarily one of the chosen one. The Beethoven was a chosen, Mozart was chosen. There was that built-in filter, patronage system that filtered out artists. Now there's this huge deluge noise of people releasing things all the time. So why should I think I'm so important to put, make new music, have music come into creation? I mean, I've got so many pieces that I could record now with, with, with what all the other things that are calling one thing I can give a young artist advice about is if you are really believe you're here to create new music, find out as much as possible how to live your life with the least amount of need for money. The least. Live in a trailer. Learn how to live as simple as possible like a pauper. The more that you can deal without the need for money, the more that you will be able to selfishly create works of art which will benefit humankind, hopefully, on some level, even if it's just your friends. Number one tip right here, because the more that you are not reliable, relying on money, like I have no health insurance, I have no savings, but I have 
pretty good cash flow coming in right now and it's allowing me to be selfish and create music that I love but I have all these voices going off constantly what's so important about you why should you spend this time when you could be making money when you could be impacting the planet when you could be helping out with people that need your help so that's always the struggle with with me I'm sure a lot of artists feel this way too why are they important what, what's so important so if Beethoven and Mozart and and uh, Allen Ginsberg Alan, hey, what if they had posed the question that I'm, what if they had hesitated? The time goes by anyway, so maybe it's a balance. But I'd be curious, what are your reasons? Why do you think I should create more music? Why should I put it out there? Why should I be selfish? Why should I take that selfish act? So that's the end of this talk with Will. I'm off to play weddings. I'm off to do things that seemingly feel more important than writing music, but I am orienting my life. I'm pulling over the needle so difficult, difficultly to the left, to the left of this selfish act of creating music more. And I'd be curious to know why you think that's important and why shouldn't I be over here just playing weddings and being more of, say, a person that trades time for money? What's your, what's your reason for that? What do you think? Or is it just should I just stay down the middle, have a balance of left, balance of right, and just do it? All I can say to you is, for those of you that believe you should do it, then just do it. Make that selfish act. Do it. Put things off. You know, yesterday I had to put so many things off. I'm so far behind on my computer work. So far behind on my computer work. But I am grateful that I created this new piece of music. And if you want to hear this new piece of music, this original thing that I've put out to the universe, which nobody may care about, but maybe some of you might care about it. Maybe it'll uplift your life today. By the way, I'm on a green juice high right now. If, if you notice, it's not coffee, it's green juice. But if you'd like to hear that little Will Taylor creation, I will email it to you. Just send me your email address, private message to me. I'll send it to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And I'm feeling inspired by taking this act of selfishness and hearing that new piece of music created with another human being that we put together. Now I have the energy and inspiration to push through more bullshit in life and put a whole album together because I want to, because it's a selfish act and I should just do it for myself. I think that's where it all starts. Do it for yourself and then if others get to enjoy it, and it's passed on and on and on, then that's great too. But I think artists and I think everybody should take selfish acts, take care of themselves to create things like this. Okay, I've rambled on enough. It's Coffee with Will on Saturday. Be sure to subscribe. Click on the, can you tell where, I'm, where I am, by the way? I'm gonna give you a little quick, where am I? Be sure to put, click me, notify when Will goes live. If you wanna know about the charity things we do in Austin, you can go to stringsattachedcares.org. We do two things every week. Every week we have charity going on, and we'd love to do more as, as usual. All of our shows are at stringsattached.org, at least most of our shows. And you can email me, will at willtaylor.com, if you'd like to hear that new piece of music that I created yesterday and recorded, a recording, a really nice recording. What else? Uh, stringsattached.org. Uh, we're on every single digital outlet that you can think of. All you have to do is search for Will Taylor and Strings Attached and you can immerse yourself in recordings that we've produced over the last 30 years with all kinds of people from all over Austin. Strings Attached is more than just Will Taylor and Strings Attached. It's all the folks that we collaborate with. And I'm looking forward to releasing some music that Jimmy Shortell played on very soon. Benefit album with Guy Forsyth. Oh, and stringsinthepark.com a week from tomorrow. Stringsinthepark.com family concert in the park, free. Come hear us, love you guys. And please click notify me when I go live. This is one of the few ways that's still impactful on Facebook to reach people. And I'm trying to do it once a day, spending 15 minutes to bring ways that I feel like I'm trying to grow as a person and an artist so that it, hopefully it's relevant to everybody out there. You take care.